So um, we're just going to study what the properties are in here. Like I said uh, before, this um, icon here just gives you the chance to, to drag columns, different columns that you're using to build your visual into the different fields. At the moment, because we are uh, using it, just a card, um, all we can do is drag on one value in, and that's why we've got just that, okay, on, on the card visual, okay? If it was, if it were to be other ones, we will have x axis, y axis, and every other thing that you know goes into building that sort of visual. But on here is a, it looks like a paintbrush, you know. So I'll say paintbrush, which you can use to change the face of your of your visual. Okay, and for this particular visual, we can see on that on that we we've got visual, we've got general. On that visual, we have the call out value, which is this 25.72 million here pounds. That is the call out value. And we can see that the font used is DIN, DIN 32. Meanwhile, the font used here is not is DIN 45. So I want that uh, size. I'm going to go 32, you know, for this um, as well. And it's the same DIN anyway. Then, um, uh, the color, okay, I want this color. So whilst I'm here, I'm just gonna go into uh, more color and copy this, this exact code so that I get that exact shape. So no need to click in, it's already highlighted. So I'm just going to do a Control C and um, I'm, I'll come here and go into color, go into more and Control C, Control V that, that exact color. And, and there we have it, okay? Um, what else do I want to copy from here? I want to also copy the, the category label, which is this total sales label here. I want mine to look like that as well, okay? So it's, it's this font, um, 12 of that font, and it's this color uh, as well, if it's still, if it's a different one. Again, control C that come into here, go into your call out value. It, the font is the same, so that's fine. Just the color that we need to change. So, so I'll, I'll control V that, okay? And, and there it's starting to look the same. Also, I want the size to be exactly this size. Um, and this is where I go into properties, okay? So um, properties is under general. Okay, so and under properties, we can see the size of, of this card, um, height, width, I can copy that, okay? So I want my height to be 117 and my width to be 165. So that's 117 by 165. I'll come here and do the same, 117 by 165, okay? And so we can see that that size has come um, down to the same size. And now it's the background color, okay? And the background uh, color we can get from um, effects, okay? So I'll copy what that color is as well under, under that more control, see that. And um, I'll just um, go here, effects as well and change that color up, control V. You would notice that each time I've used a color and I go into more, that color is the first there anyway. But I just wanted to repeat that step uh, so that when we see it a couple of times, we'll, we'll, it, it will stick, okay? And that's, that's how to copy exactly um, how you want a, a format, for how to format your your visual okay now since i've got one what i should have done if not because i was showing the steps norm normally to make life easy and quicker since we've got all this format if you've got the formatting done on one and you just want the same type of format on the rest all you need to do is your format painter use that and click on that and that saves you a whole lot of um, 
repeating all of that. I see that it hasn't copied the, the size. I was expecting it to copy the size, um, but that's fine. The size is 116, I believe, uh, 117 by 165. Okay, so we go back 117 by 165. Okay, and um, we do the same for this as well. Okay, and um, 117 by 165. Okay, so other things we can we can do. Um, again, we we want to achieve the background that's on the Canva itself. This back background here. Okay, so if we go back here, I'm just gonna again copy. I think we have the color already, but um, it's the wallpaper color here. I'm just gonna copy that and bring bring that to. To, to our one here, click on the Canva, go into the paintbrush, and it's the wallpaper, and I'll do that, and um, there we have it, okay? So it's starting to gradually look like, like that, like what we have um, on there, okay? Um, again, if we want, exact, want it to be uh, at the exact positions that we have here, we can actually copy the positions here too, okay? So whilst I'm there, I'm just gonna see um, what the position is. Under properties, we have position. So you have the height, the width, and also the position. And that position is saying under horizontal, we got zero, and under vertical, we got 84. So zero, 84. If I go in here for that first one, I'm just gonna copy that in to place it directly where I want it to be placed. Okay, so under properties, position um, 0, 84. Okay, and that brings it down to where it should be. So we, we can do the same for, for the rest as well. Um, that's if you've already got in mind what, how, how you want your position to exactly, to exactly look like. Also, also is the sale, this sales performance, okay? But um, I'll leave that to the, uh, for, for last, okay? I'll leave that for last. I think I did quantity so okay. That's why that extra space is there, okay? So let's go into the actual building of this total sales, sales by county. So if we go into our one, it's a donut chart. So I, I'm clicking out so that we don't change any anyone if if um, we've already pre-chosen any other visual there, we don't want it to change. Okay, so I'll go for the donut one. Um, okay, and uh, we are saying we want to see total sales by county. So total sales are picked and we're going to lo location data to see, to get a county out. And there we have it. Um, it's not always very nice looking to have too many or too much information on either a pie chart or do not chart. It's, it's, it doesn't read really right, you know, so there's too much here. So that's why uh, it was considered in this exercise to filter this down to maybe top 10 or even top five. Why not? Okay. So whilst I'm clicking on, on here, we see this filters panel on the right hand side. Okay. And we've got different options. It's saying filters, filter on this set, uh, this, this bit filters on this visual. So it's just gonna, whatever you do on here, it's just gonna filter on this uh, visual or any other visual that you have already selected. But you also have uh, the option of using filter for every visual on this page. So whatever you put on the in this uh, section here would filter everything within the page. Um, and whatever you put here would filter everything on every page that you create. So it's good to take note of that, okay? Now we are saying top 10 is what we have, what we want here, okay? So filter on this 
uh, chart on this um, visual county, okay? So on that county, I want the top 10. So, but we've got um, different filter types. Got the basic filtering where you can just click on the few counties that you want to see if, if that's what you want. That's, that's what this affords. You list all the counties and you can just uh, pick and select the ones that you want, you really want to see. Um, so if that's what you want, why not? The option is there, but that's not what we are after. If we click the drop down, we've got more. This says advanced filtering. Let's look at advanced filtering. And it says shows item when the value contains, you know, so maybe you've got some particular value in mind for maybe when total sales is between a certain value or, or something like that. When it's uh, when it's not just contains, actually, there's different options, you know. So you can use this to do different types of filters, you know, contains, does not contain, starts with, does not start with, you know, maybe you want to see only counties that start with an A or something, something like that, you know. So advanced filtering affords you the chance to do that. Um, uh, 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 contains this and another thing there, or another thing there, okay? And the third one, which is where we are going into, is the top N, with, where you can see the top N stands for any number, okay? So we've chosen top 10, so we go with top 10. And we saw when we enter the class, it, it's, it's asking for top 10 by what value? So we're saying top 10 by the county. So we're gonna drag and it's, it's instructing us already, add data field here. So whatever it is that we want, we drag it. This time we're not just gonna click, we're gonna actually drag it into there, you know, and immediately we, we drag that this apply filter, which was grayed out before, is lightened up so we can use it. But before I do that, um, immediately we drag the county in. County in. It's, it's just turned that first county as an option. There are other options there, last, count distinct, or count, you know. So, but the applicable one to us is the first, and we click filter. And we see that change, you know, to, to uh, just the top 10 um, counties. Um, and that that's more easily readable uh, because we can see the values and the percentages outside, you know. It's not very visible, but we can always change the formatting around to look like exactly what we, what we want, okay? So if we go into the original one and just have a look at what, what's happening. Uh, like I said, when you're doing yours, you don't have to go by this color. Um, you can decide to, you know, play around with what you actually want. Um, so the height and width for this one is 271391. So I'll go with 271391 for that. Two seven one three nine one. Okay, and uh, let's see if we can lock the position in as well. Um, position is one seventy one five one. So one seventy one five one. One seventy one five one. Okay. Um, all right, there we have that. I hope um, because that looks like it's a little bit too close to 171, yeah, 2713, yeah, I have it, okay, that's fine. It looks, it, okay, it's actually, it's actually like that here as well. It was looking a bit too close for, too close for comfort, but yeah, other visual, all the other properties that we have in here would be, apart from the properties, um, we've got under visual, we've got um, slices, what colors you want each of the slices to be. You know, at the moment we've got 
um, we've got some sort of odd colors not really matching. We've got pink, green, yellow, you know. Um, having said that, I mean, having said that, I think this again, these, all of these blue affair ha happening here sort of blend everything almost together. Uh, so maybe some people may not necessarily see the demarcation, you know, between all of those colors. Um, but just for the for the uh, texture, uh, avoiding color riots and all of that, that was why it, this was more of a blend of blues, different, you know, blue, blue shades, different shades, 50 shades of blue, basically. Uh, that that's that's the rationale behind the building this like this. Um, so um, I will leave this bit. Uh, if you if whatever color you want yours to to look like within the slices, we can see that on that visuals, and you can you can you can go for it. You know what else do I have? It says detail labels. Uh, okay, yeah, how you want these labels to be or where you want them to be. I've chosen outside. Uh, so that's they are, that's why they are all outside. I've sort of colored them. Let me change the color of the background as well. Um, effects. So if we go into effects, I think we have this color already. I may be wrong. Let me just copy and paste. Just gonna go into more and copy and paste that. Okay. Um, and like I said, one can work on the rest of the colors to suit what how you want it to be presented. Uh, one thing I want to change quickly are these these uh, data these legends. Yeah, thank you very much. These legends and the and the colors the color we've got on the labels they're not it's not really showing well. Okay, so we can work on that. Maybe make them really, instead of gray, let's make those colors actually black. Okay, so under data labels, uh, values. Okay, we've got it as nine, but what I'm really after is from gray, let's change it to a uh, proper black to, to make it, you know, show better and more readable, you know. You can you can decide to put our sales by by county the the title on there. You can do more with that title as well. You can decide to switch the title off if you feel it's already self explanatory. Um, but we need the title in this case, you know. So if you want to change it to to read something different from total sales sales by county, that is there. Um, but I think total sales by county is fine. If you want it to be centered, uh, center aligned, we can have that. Um, I see that the legends are gray as well, so we can work on the on the legends. If we go into legends, um, let me see where are the legend or oh, where is the legend. So we've got title, we've got effect. Legend should be here somewhere. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. So legend, uh, center, right. Again, you can change that around. Um, after the text, um, which is gray, which I want to be black so that it's more readable. I can bold in it. You can increase the font if, if there's space. If I increase the font in, in this case, it would, there's not enough space, you know. Um, um, maybe, maybe there's no need to have the title on because we already have title in the in the title, the legend title, you know. So I can switch that legend title off on that legend. We've got title, I'm just gonna switch it off. That creates more space, you know, for for my for for the for the actual legends. Um so we can build the rest of the visuals and, and just play around with how we want it to look. Um, for slicer, um, we can pick uh, the slicer, which is this, this funnel one here, and put the date in. Um, 
I'm sure we have on that date table. We, it's, we, it's got year and so if I pick year, um, is that all? Yeah, okay. Um, if I copy and paste that so that we, we have the second one and we just quickly change that, we have the second one, which is the quarter. So I'll take year out of the second one. Do I have quarter here somewhere? I should have quarter. Okay, mine, what I've got here is just, I want the one that says Q1, Q, you know, if there's time, one can look for it. I believe we've got one that says that, that actually have the Q1, Q2, Q3, you know, in it. Again, your slicer, uh, you've got slicer settings. Um, let me quickly show that in one minute. Um, maybe we can take the title of this. It's obvious that this is year. Okay, so, but on that slicer setting, you can change, at the moment, this is vertical list, you know, you can change this to a uh, tile that gives you this type, you know, or a uh, drop down where you, you just have, you know, that, you know. Um, so there's there's a lot, this, this bit is normally always exciting uh, because you are building something quite beautiful um which you are looking forward to to what the end result would look like you know um we won't be able to finish this in one class it takes time really um we've done as much as this only because there's something we are copying from they say they say um we've got already a template that we are using to quickly build this and if i stage to actually work on this color it would even take longer okay so but that's why it's always good to spend more time. You can imagine after all the time you've, you, you've created this and it's it's a wrong work. That's why it's good to spend all the, all the time understanding exactly what you are getting yourself into with the work in terms of the data set and the question that you are being asked to, to solve. Understanding that well, working your way through cleaning and all the foundational works actually. Um, all the building, the right uh, measures and quantities and stuff in. Uh, if that is all well done, then this part will be really worth it um, in the end. 